Uh, with me is my guest, and I'm very pleased to have with us uh, Michael Robbins, who is the president and CEO of Spencer Bank. Mike, welcome. Thank you, Tim. Mike, Glad to be here. Yeah, well, good. Well, you know, uh, Spencer Bank and, and your leadership has uh, grown significantly, and maybe you could share with our viewers a little background of the bank and, and uh, kind of what's, what's happened uh, over the last few years, and then we can maybe then talk specifically about the Worcester branch. Sure. Uh, Spencer Bank was founded in 1871 by a group of uh, Spencer businessmen, and uh, it's grown uh, from uh, its infancy up to about uh, $550 million in assets today. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of that has uh, been due to our movement into Worcester, and uh, we did that a couple years ago with a small temporary location on Park Ave uh, until we did a, took on a large task in uh, renovating the fire alarm building at uh, 230 Park Ave, which is um, uh, kind of our Worcester headquarters today. Yeah, uh, and uh, real you know, kudos to, to you and to your board uh, for that effort, uh, working closely with then city manager Mike O'Brien and, and the preservation community. You know, for our viewers who might not be totally familiar, it's right across from Elm Park. It was the iconic fire alarm building back uh, before technology got to what it is. but. Uh, an historic building that has been restored uh, and uh, with an addition that complements the historic piece. So you've got a branch, a little conference room, and just a beautiful, uh, beautiful building. Yeah, I think people would be envious of my office in, par in that building. Um, I have a beautiful view of the park, and um, it's been good for business. Uh, we started uh, with zero in deposits and we're up to about $60 million. Uh, in, a, in a short time, that, that, so it's been good to us. That's great, and uh, in the chamber, uh, whenever and wherever you know, reasonable and, and cost uh, uh, cost effective, uh, you know, historic preservation. And because of that, uh, the chamber, Worcester Regional Chamber awarded Spencer Bank a Silver Hammer Award. Uh, I believe it was last year. Yes, yeah, out at the Haven. Yeah, um, yeah. it was. Uh, you know, and I, I throw out uh, kudos to um, F. W. Madigan who. A Worcester firm that uh, chamber member business. Yeah, we're pleased did, to did say. the uh, did the renovations and did a great job. Yeah, no, uh, good, good stuff. Um, and you mentioned the, the Worcester branch has has been successful, but but you're even growing. I mean, you mentioned Spencer into Worcester, but now you're growing throughout the county as well. Yes, uh, we just um, legally uh, finalized a merger last Friday with uh, Southbridge Savings Bank, and uh, Southbridge has an attitude very similar to ours in culture and. Uh, Gives us a terrific footprint. Uh, we're now in 15 towns, uh, with I'm sorry, 15 branches across 11 connecting towns. So that will be uh, bode well for the future. It gives us an uh, asset base of uh, about a billion two, uh, which will allow us to uh, treat our customers very well and allow us to do uh, larger loan deals and uh, increase business activity. Yeah, and they've uh, been a great uh, organization, supporter of uh, our partner affiliate chamber, the, the, the Central Mass uh, South Chamber. And, you know, Southbridge sometimes gets, as a community, sometimes gets a bad rap. But, if you, you know, that, that, that downtown area, uh, absolutely kind of beautiful, historic, uh, and, and Southbridge Savings Bank's been part of that. Uh, I'm getting kind of, to know it more and more. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm there a couple days a week, and uh, it's uh, a nice, uh, you know, we're getting to know a new board from uh, Southbridge Savings Bank. and. Uh, uh, real nice group of people over there. Yeah, well, my wife uh, and I recently went down to Harrington Hospital, had their fundraiser at the Southbridge uh, Hotel and Conference Center with the, where the AO building uh, is and stayed at the Vienna Inn. Uh, great okay. little place in, in downtown Southbridge and, and uh, just kind of adds to kind of that eclectic mix of options people have in the area. Yeah, you know, I, was at, I, I was at the same event and um, it was uh, well attended and uh, that Harry, I'm actually on the finance board of Harrington Hospital and uh, they're doing some great things yeah. for Southbridge and Webster. That's right, uh, important, uh, important community hospital for South County uh, and, and a big employer. Yes, absolutely. Mike, you know, we were talking before the show started, uh, you're Sutton native, Nichols grad, uh, still live in the area. I mean, you, you've got a perspective in that regard about kind of the transformation of, of the uh, banking community, kind of the ebbs and flows, the, the buyouts that took place back in the 80s and 90s, and, and, and now you're kind of seeing kind of some of the community banks really grow. Yeah, I think, um, you know, for a number of years, the major growth in the small banks were from the large bank mergers, and I believe frustration of local businesses with the larger uh, regional national mm -hmm. banks, and uh, that was... Um, a big source of our growth. Um, 
but now we can actually kind of compete uh, head on with a lot of the products and services. Technology has leveled the playing field in a lot of areas right. for that growth. But, 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 but I think underscoring all that, even with the technology, it's kind of that frustration with maybe some of the... And, and I think, uh, you know, if the, the, a lot of customers tried that, didn't work, and have come back home. Right, right. And uh, find that they really like the local, uh, the local banks. You know, try talking to the president of TD, you know, the president of Bank of America or yeah, TD, yeah. and it's, it's, you know, it's not going to happen. Yeah, you yeah. Can, um, Get things done locally, quick, yeah, and, uh, and you know, quickly and uh, convenient. Right, right, and and you mentioned the kind of the technology piece, but uh, you know certainly bank branches and how things are designed differently. And you, you've kind of gone through that technology in some ways has made how banking done different. But people still kind of want that face or name, that someone that they can talk to or deal with. Absolutely, uh, I you know I think people question bank you know bank branches if they're even going to be in existence, and. Um, the certainly the uh, 50 and older still love to come into the branches and uh, the younger people do most of their work over the internet but when time comes to purchase uh, make a major purchase a home or uh, maybe even a new car they'll they, they like to go back and have that physical presence and talk to Right. Talk to talk to people that uh, are in the know. Plus, you got to sign the docs. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We, we got a couple, just a couple minutes left. Sure. But uh, just you know, you've been a, a supporter, a lot of involved yourself and members of your leadership team. Uh, Spencer Banks sponsoring the Chamber of Business After Hours on June 16th at the Blue Hive up uh, near the airport. Um, just you know, why do you get involved in the Chamber and 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 uh, you know, why is that networking? Ma major major reason for us is the uh, networking uh, opportunities and. Uh, Especially bodes well for our younger, our younger commercial lenders, our young our branch managers, people that are still out there trying to develop relationships and we're out there trying to develop business. And it's a great opportunity to make those connections. Yeah. Well, uh, Mike, we appreciate Spencer Bank uh, support and, and the role that you played in a lot of different ways. Uh, you know, taking a great building in Park Ave, growing, expanding, facilitating job growth and, and business uh, development uh, in the area and uh, look forward to having you back at some point to give us an update uh, on things. Love to do 